These are the words of the blessed Enoch, who glorifies the devoted, and the righteous that arise, living through times of consequence. When wicked atheists are abandoned, the righteous Enoch, brought forward this account, my eyes were opened by God, and I had a vision, of the Holy One in the sanctuary, shown to me by the angels, as I heard everything from them, and from them I understood. What I saw was not for this society, but for another one, which will come in the future, with regard. To the blessed ones, I describe them in this way, the Almighty Holy One will appear, within his own abode, then the Eternal God, will walk the earth, and appear even on Mount Sinai, coming from his abode. To bring his strength, from the sanctuary of heaven, humanity will shake with fear, and the seers will be awestruck, and great fear and trembling, will overcome all around the world, then the mountains will shake, and the steep hills shall collapse, and will melt like wax on a flame, then the universe shall succumb, and all will perish, and be met with consequences. But the devoted will receive his peace, and the blessed will be protected, because mercy will be upon them, they will all belong to God, and they shall prosper, because they will be blessed, and he will help all of them, and light will shine on them, because he will give them peace, understand that he appears, with ten thousand holy ones, to bring understanding to all, and put an end to atheism, and to cleanse the physical realm, of all the activities of atheism, committed by unbelievers, and those tough things said, by the unbelievers about him. Just see the objects of the skies, how they stay on their courses, and the lights in the night sky, each in their season rising and setting. They do not contradict their synchrony. Just see the universe and understand, those things that occur in their order, from first to last, and how consistent they are, and the things of the universe, will not be disrupted, yet everything appears from God. Consider the summer and winter, how the universe is covered with water, and the rains of the clouds pour down on it. Just see how trees in winter, will shed their leaves and wither, except for the evergreen trees, that do lose not their foliage, but will keep their foliage, for two or three years. As the new foliage blossoms, then see during the summer day, how the sun overhead heats the earth, so you seek shade and shelter, from the heat of the sun, while the earth also burns, as it expands with heat, making the dirt and the rock, earth too hot to tread. See how trees shade themselves, with their green leaves, as they bear fruit, this is how you can know, and understand his activities, and understand him who made them, who lives for eternity, see his activities over the years, and everything they produce for him, and these things don't change, yet so it is done accordingly, as God has ordained, now consider how the sea, just like the rivers, keep flowing without change, according to his instructions. Yet some have not been steadfast, nor followed the Almighty's instructions, instead have turned away, and spoken proud and hostile words, with unclean mouths against his greatness, these hard-hearted shall have no peace, therefore they will abhor their lives, as the years of their lives dwindle, and the time for their departure, shall be abhorred by many, and continue without mercy. The righteous will abhor them, and those who swear will swear, and the atheists will be defeated, and the unbelievers will be cursed, then everyone will give thanks, and wickedness will be forgiven, and mercy, peace and tolerance, will be extended to them, along with their salvation, but for the wicked, there shall be no salvation, for they will remain cursed, but the devoted will receive light, and joy and peace, and will govern the universe, and the blessed shall receive wisdom, and will live without wickedness, either through ungodliness or pride, and those who are wise shall be humble, and they will no longer transgress, nor be wicked through their lives, nor will they perish, from anger or violence, instead they will be complete, throughout their lifetimes, and their lives, shall be in peace, increasing their years of joy, with eternal happiness and tranquility, through all the days of their lifetime. Over time human population increased, and with them came more attractive females, as some in the spirit world, descended to the world, and began to desire them, and choose wives among, those human women, and have children with them. Then their teacher Simjaza told them, I am afraid if you will not, agree with this activity, then I alone will carry the consequences. So they answered him and said, they will make a promise, and will then agree, to this mutual understanding, they will not. Abandon this plan, but will carry out this thing, then made their promise, and committed themselves, through mutual understanding about it, then they numbered two hundred, at the time of Jared, descending into the mountain region, and they called it Mount Hermon, because they promised, to have a mutual understanding. The names of their teachers were, Samlazas, Arakalba, Ramil, Kokablel, Tamlal, Ramlal, Danil, Ezekiel, Barakaijal, Osoel, Amaros, Batral, Ananel, Zaklel, Samsapil, Saterel, Tural, Jomjail, Serial. These were the teachers of their people, 
they and the others with them, each were married to a wife, and they went with them, and engaged with them, and taught them many things, these included ceremonies, the cutting of plant roots, and teaching them about plants. Later the women became pregnant, and they bore large people, with heights of 3,000 ls. They consumed the goods of humans, and when humans could no longer sustain them, the tall ones opposed them, then they devoured humankind. And they harmed birds and animals, and reptiles, and fish, then they consumed each other's flesh, and drank their blood, then these lawless ones, faced earthly consequences, then Azazel taught people, to make swords and knives, and shields and breastplates, and taught them about, the metals of the universe, and how to work with them, for bracelets and ornaments, along with using antimony, and decorating the eyelids, and about precious stones, along with color tinctures, after that there was atheism, and sensuous physical acts, they were led astray, and were corrupted in their ways, Semjaza taught the use of ceremony, and the cutting of roots, Amaros taught, about magic, and Barakaijal astrology, Kokabel the constellations, Ezekiel the knowledge of the sky, Arakil the signs of the universe, Shamsil the signs of the sun, and Serial the orbit of the moon. Then as these people perished, their cries were heard in heaven, then Michael, Uriel, Raphael, and Gabriel, looked down from the spiritual world, and saw the violence on earth, and the havoc brought on the earth, then they spoke to one another, the earth created before humanity, cries out with a desperate voice, towards the gates of heaven to the holy ones of heaven, the people of humanity, made their case saying, deliver our message to the Almighty, they spoke to the eternal Lord, Lord of lords and God of gods, King of kings and eternal God, your glorious throne stands, for all the cultures of eternity, and your holy name is glorious, and blessed for all of eternity. You have created everything, and you have power over all things, and everything is revealed, and all is seen by you. Nothing can hide from you, you see what Azazel has done, who taught unrighteousness on earth, and revealed eternal secrets, that are confided in heaven, humans were striving to learn these, and to Simjaza you gave authority, to be a leader over his associates. Yet they appeared to earthly humans, and engaged with them, they have humbled themselves, and revealed all sorts of secrets, to create heightened awareness. Then the planet was filled, with blood and greed, and look at the souls, those who died crying, have made their case, to the listeners in heaven, and their complaints rose up, and continued due to the crimes, waged upon the earth, you know everything, before they take place, and you see those things, and you allow them, but you haven't told us, what we can do in response, then the Almighty Holy One spoke, and sent Uriel to the son of Lamech, and told him, go to Noah and tell him, to hide himself, let him know what is coming, that the earth will be purged, and a deluge will come on the earth. This will decimate all that is on it, and tell him he can escape, and his family will be preserved. Through the coming generations, throughout the world, then the Lord said to Raphael, Azazel will suffer within this world, and he'll be captured by ignorance, and buried within a barren land, he'll be captured by Dudale, and covered with the rough, jagged rocks of ignorance, and he will be left in that state, his eyes will be shielded from light, and at the time of consequences, his fate will be met. Then the people will heal, though corrupted by spirits, to deliver a healing to the people, so their plague may be healed, to save the human race, from the hidden things, this is what the seers taught, and influenced their followers, as they mislead those people. As to the things taught by Azazel, they brought him consequences, the Lord then told Gabriel, to teach people about living right, and warned the people of the earth, to separate from the seers' followers, so they won't be harmed, this will benefit their lifetimes, don't grant the requests of their leaders, as they just want to live forever, they hope each of them will, live for 500 years, then the Lord told Michael, Semjaza and his associates will be restricted, because they were born from women, and fell within, the physical world. They brought with them greed, and their people forsook each other, and their beloved were harmed, they will suffer greatly, for seventy lifetimes, in the valleys of the earth, until their consequences are met, and forever consummated, during that time they will, remain in the abyss of passion, they will be tormented, and confined to this virtual prison, and they will suffer the consequences, of what they did to them, and suffer those consequences, throughout their generations, the spirits, who did this, along with the followers of the seers, will pay the consequences, because they harmed humanity, if all wrong was removed, from the face of the earth, and every wickedness ended. The tree of righteousness, and the truth will appear, and this will prove a blessing, the righteous acts and truth, will plant truth and joy forevermore, then the righteous can escape, and have generations of followers, and become virtuous from youth, through to their old age, living lives complete and at peace, then the earth will sow righteousness, to be planted with trees and blessings. 
and every desirable tree shall be planted upon it, along with vines planted with them, and these. Plants grown there will yield grape juice abundantly, and for each measure of seed sown, there will bear a thousand, and each measure of olives shall yield ten oil presses, so cleanse the earth of oppression. And of all the unrighteousness, and of all the greed, and from all the atheism, and all the wickedness that has been brought upon the earth, and remove it from the earth, then all people of humanity will become righteous, they will make offerings to me, and will praise me, and will worship me, and the planet will be cleansed from all the defilement, and from all the wickedness, and from all the consequences, and from all torment, and I will not allow them to ever descend again to the earth for generation to generation. Then after that time, I will open the chambers of blessing that are in the spiritual world in order to give access for the efforts of the people of earth. Then truth and peace will come after their time in the material world and after being in the human race.